The Godfather is one of the best movies made. Let's find out if the cocktail lives up to the movie. So I saw my buddy Tyler over at Never Empty Bottle make this cocktail last week. Gotta try it, because I'm not a huge Scotch fan. So today we're gonna try The Godfather. What, to you started equal... without me and you only made one? What is this? Oh, I thought you were sleeping. I wouldn't want to film and have a cocktail at noon on a Friday. You know better. I'm sorry. But you know what's great about this cocktail? What? It is the easiest cocktail in the world to make. A two ingredient cocktail equal parts. We can make it right here. Easy peasy. Do that. I will. Ooh, we need to get the pretty glass. Get the pretty glass. <laughs> Drop your big ice cube in there. Get your measuring instrument. We're gonna do equal parts. Ounce and a half of De Serono. So it is De Serono week here at Alchemix Bar. It's actually Amaretto week. Amaretto week. So you can use any Amaretto that you have. We have De Serono sitting around the house, so we're gonna use that. And for yours, we're going to use Lagavulin 8. For mine, I use Akintoshin. So we're gonna try the two and see if what differences they make. I imagine they're going to be quite different. I imagine that too. Ron Swanson would be having us in a chokehold, buried out somewhere in the dark woods. Because we're mixing the Lagavulin? Yes. <laughs> I, think he, I think he'd probably have us in the chokehold for having the Lagavulin 8 instead of the 16. <laughs> yeah, well, he makes more money than us. Yeah, he has a significant amount of, amount of gold buried gold, somewhere. Exactly. <laughs> so just give it a little quick stir. There you have, little lady. You have yourself a godfather. That was really easy. Easy peasy. Would have been easier if I wasn't sit, trying to do the sit down the entire <laughs> time. But so, let's give these a try. So, Amarado, we both like Amarado and things. Yes. And figured this is something that, I'm not a huge Scotch fan. You don't mind Scotch. Right. And Tyler did it, and he really enjoyed it, so let's give it a try. Ding, ding. Okay. Oh, that's I get, nice. I can get behind that a lot. Yeah. Ugh, damn it. Another thing that's going to cost me a lot more money in life. <laughs> but no, you taste the Amarato. Yes. But then that scotch just blends super nicely with this. Try this one. Try that one. So this is going to be more peaty, right? Yours is more yeah, peaty. Yeah, you're going to taste like you chewing on charcoal. Oh, that smell. That's all you smell is peatiness right away. I think I like mine better. Mine blends better. You can have, oh my god, no. <laughs> That's a hard no for me, young lady. This is definitely one where it will matter what kind of scotch you use, for 100%. sure. You have to use a scotch you like. Right, or you aren't going to like it at all. Right. I mean, it's, because whatever you don't like, if you don't like peatiness, that still comes and shines completely through. Yeah, it basically just takes the edge off of mm -hmm. the, the alcohol burn. I might, for this one, use a little bit less... I'm right though. For yours? Yeah. I think I think mine is the ratios are right. I think the ratios are right definitely for yours. I just don't like peat peatiness in that my thing. Yours is almost like it almost tastes like two distinct flavors. You think so? Yes. But maybe it's because I just drank this one. Let me try yours again. I guess I kinda see what you mean. But I think those are two flavors that go that go well together. They're not blended together, but they're sitting right. side by side holding hands. Right. Like they're they're linking arms and skipping yeah. down the road. So there's two variations of this cocktail. There's the godmother and the godchild. The godmother is with vodka, and the godchild is with uh, brandy. And Tyler made all three of these uh, a couple weeks ago. We'll put the link to that video in uh, this in our description. And he's another Iowa mixologist. Let me rephrase. He's not a mixologist. He's a cocktail enthusiast. Yes. And stuff. And uh, you know he's done some great stuff. We've been a couple of videos with him on our channel, on his channel, but like I said, I saw this, I was like, I was intrigued by it. And again, that's, I keep reiterating this point because I think some people don't fully understand or just like, sometimes it doesn't click, but this is the part of enjoying cocktail making, is trying right. things that you are not always liking. Right. You know, like I'll always try scotch cocktails just because yeah. like it sounds interesting. Okay, I'll right. give it. I think this is definitely a great cocktail. Yes. If you have any scotch, I, I think he used Johnny Walker green in his, so that's a blended scotch. So that's going to have a completely different pairing to what we're trying. Just yeah. use what you have at home because you obviously have that scotch at home because you like it. Right. 
you're not going to have like 20 different scotches that you don't like. That you don't like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so and then be crazy. I, that'd be crazy. <laughs> Can you be my friend and support my business adventures if you do? <laughs> Cause it seems like you might have a lot of money to burn in that pocket. <laughs> right, if you've got 20 scotches at home. <laughs> but, yeah. So, last week, we did a bunch of videos on rhubarb. So, we have a playlist over here if you want to check out those rhubarb cocktails. This week is based off of Amaretto, and this is the first one. Yep. So, check those out. Let us know what scotch that you think would be great with this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Pink.